This is a living quarters horse trailer for sale, American. They were built in Idaho, I think. It is a three horse. We'll start with the living quarters. So it has um, two propane tanks and two batteries, um, a screen door, and then the steps fold up like that for travel, and then they fold down. So um, stepping inside, there's the sofa, which pulls down into a bed. I'll show you that. So that turns into a bed. And there's the table uh, poles. The legs are right there and the table. This is a queen size. It has a foam and a almost new memory foam. Very comfortable. Um, windows on each side. Up front there's a closet that is actually huge. When my son was young he used to sleep in here. So um, you can kind of see it's very large. There's uh, hangers. So coat closet there. Get back down. So then we have um, cabinets up top above the sofa, and the door to the bathroom is there. There's a fridge you can go look at, um, a sink, double stove cooktop, and uh, the microwave. All of your um, tank indicators are here. I do have the water tank full just so you can see. Turn that switch off. Um, water pump works, and uh, this is the fan hood. Oh, sorry. There's the water pump. Um, it hasn't been pressurized in a while, so let's get rid of that. Here's the sink. It's all good. There's a window above the kitchen sink, a couple of little shelves for storage, and um, the heater is down here, the hot water heater switch is there, everything works. Um, here's the fridge with the freezer, it's a fairly big, good size, um, fridge and freezer, there's little uh, things in the door for cans or bottles. There's a mirror on the door there going into the bathroom. And uh, that walks through into the porch. It's a brand new toilet. Um, in here is um, storage for like towels, toilet paper, stuff like that. There's a brand new cover for the vent. And then here is the shower. Um, it's pretty tall. You know, a normal sized person can shower, no problem. Actually, even a larger person can shower. This steps out into the porch area or the uh, mid tack room. There are, oh, I can't open that door from in here because the step is not up, but um, there's a light switch there. This is the rack. You can hang your saddle rack in here. Right now I have it in the rear tack. There's some shelves, um, um, blanket bars or saddle pad racks, and then bridle hooks up top. Um, coming back through, I showed you the table and sofa. Oh, this is a little um, coat closet, entry closet. Also has an automatic light switch with the door um, switch. So that's pretty handy. And then you're, you have switches by the door to turn things on and off. Uh, it's a two-way. There's another set of switches up top in the bedroom as well to turn lights on and off. So we can go outside and open this step. I'll show you the porch. We call it a porch. It's a mid-tack room. So that's from uh, the outside. You can use it as a mudroom to get into the bathroom. So there's that. 
And uh, brand new tires, probably less than six months old. They checked the brakes and bearings at that time and said they were fine. Also brand new spare. There's a ladder to um, hay rack up top. These are slider windows on the rump side. And then I'll show you the rear tack. Um, rear tack has bridle bars. The saddle rack slides out, or swings out, I should say. Um, it also, like I said, it can mount um, in the mid tack as well. So, and there's um, blanket bars hanging in here as well. There's a light there, too. Let's put that pin back. Pin holds the saddles. Then you have your safety bar. To open the rear area for the horses. Um, there is a little glitch in the rubber bumper there. So three horse um, slam latches. These are the butt side windows. They're pretty big. And then uh, there's lights, loading lights in here. Each horse has an overhead uh, vent. Um, it's pretty tall. It's it's at least seven feet tall. So these are the drops on the inside, drop windows and uh, dividers here. There's two dividers. This one telescopes. There's a little pin that you pull to um, put it into the slam latch, but when you're loading, you um, slide it in so you have room to clear the tack room here. It is a fixed wall on the tack. And then, uh, I was going to say, oh, the width. This is wider than a normal uh, trailer. It's not eight feet wide, but it's wider than most of them, I think, are six foot six or six foot eight. This is a little over seven foot wide. So I can measure it if you need me to. There's um, a place here to mount the saddle racks if you want, or also um, for camping, um, a mount for the portable stalls, which there's brackets there to hold the uh, portable corrals. And then uh, these are your windows that are open on the head side. There is one pane of glass missing on this window. Um, it's in Nevada, so it's pretty hot here. I actually don't ever close the windows all the way, even in the winter. So it hasn't been a problem for me. Um, and again, the new brake, a uh, new tires, sorry. All the running lights work. Um, that one was replaced. But uh, they, like I said, the, all the systems work. Um, there's the cord here, it comes out. It's fairly long, I think it's at least 10 or 15 feet long. Hot water heater works. Um, the fridge, I replaced this door. It was all orange and yucky. Um, I, I put a brand new um, cover on the roof air conditioner. It was cracked. And um, this is the hot water heater here. And then this is your water fill area. Um, so now we can go through a couple of the issues. Um, it has only surface rust in places. Um, the roof seam, that one could be uh, looked at. Let me zoom in on that. I have not had the seams done lately. They are welded, so they're, like I said, there's just surface rust here. There's a drip edge, a um, little drip trough there, and so the water runs down, and you can see there's some, there's some surface rust here that can be addressed if need be. It's not structural whatsoever. The structure is super strong and sound. If we look underneath, the tanks are good. Um, it's very strong uh, steel structure with the cross beams and go back past the tanks. Let's see, look at the frame and axles. 
it is a wood floor. All the wood is in good condition. Um, it does have rubber mats in the back. So I didn't show that very well. Let's see. Some horse area. Yeah, so under the rubber mats is wood floor. So, okay, um, not sure what else.